Toward the start of the film, we see that a lady named Claire hangs herself. However, she tumbles down and her life is saved. Then we see her with her husband Peter, where we come to know that recently their nine-year-old son Lucas died in a car accident, and today is his tenth birthday. Now Claire had not yet emerged from the shock of the demise of her son, and she considered herself responsible for that accident. Then we see her in her office, where her boss Lloyd gives her the case of an eight-year-old young lady. Claire actually works for a child protection service. Now we're at evening time. We see some scratch blemishes on Claire's body. Afterward, while she is eating, she hears some sound that startles her. She sees that a man is sitting before her with blood coming from his neck. Furthermore, he says that I will wait for you at home. However, the following second he vanishes from there. Then we see the man sitting right close to her, who says don't leave me, fearing that Claire runs away. After which he yells and says look what you made me do, Claire rushes to her room and closes the door, and plunks down. The following day she goes to Sophie's home, whose record was given to her by her boss. Now Claire asks Sophie's mother Audrey, and her father Giles a few inquiries, after which she asks about the scratches on Sophie's cheek, which her mother tells her she falls off the skateboard. After this, she talks to Sophie in private. Here she plays a game with her in which she tells her three things out of which she has to catch a lie. And here Sophie tells her that she doesn't get these scratches because of falling. Then, abruptly the glass on the table moves, after which something happens to Claire, and she sees a woman in that house. During this, she gets a vision, wherein blood begins emerging from her hands, and we see cut on her hands. Then we see Sophie's parents telling Claire that bizarre things begin occurring, as they move to the house like the gleaming of lights and the moving of furniture, after which it began harming their little girl. Then she goes to Lloyd and says that she can't take this case. Now we are shown a scene from the past, where we see Claire and Lucas in their home. Here Claire sees something that unnerves her, however Lucas can't see anything. All at once, we see an extremely terrifying old woman standing behind Lucas. She begins screaming at Claire, and afterward Lucas' voice distracts Claire from her. Back to the present, we see that Claire is extremely depressed. After some time she comes outside the house to throw the trash, where a man asks her for something to eat. Now Claire gets exceptionally frightened seeing him and runs inside the house. However, inside the same man assaults her, and says that he had asked her for something to eat. Then, we see a few injuries on Claire's body. The following day Claire gets a call from Sophie's school, to which she says that she is done with Sophie's case yet they request that she visit the school once. Now Sophie misses Lucas, so she goes to Lloyd and requests Sophie's case back. Then we see Claire in Sophie's home, where Claire advises her to sell this house, to which she says she can't as all that they have is integrated with the home loan. She then asks Claire, how could she realize that the entity in the house is a lady? Claire tells that she saw and felt her. Then she tells her that she sees things that individuals shouldn't see. They even harmed her occasionally. Next. We see Sophie in her room where she is looking at some photographs, when she hears somebody making the way into her room. Unexpectedly there is a sound of her scream. After this, she gets secured in a storeroom, and the things in her room begin falling to a great extent. Now the following day we see Claire at school with Sophie, where Sophie lets Claire know that her dad laid down with another lady when her mom was pregnant, and she never got over it. Then she inquires as to whether she can truly see ghosts, to which Claire says yes. Claire asks her how long she has been harming her, to which Sophie doesn't say anything. Then we see Lloyd requesting that she close Sophie's case. Claire asks her for a couple of more days. However, Lloyd disagrees. Now we see Sophie's family eating where they are talking. Then Sophie begins making a sound with the fork, which angers Audrey, and she scolds her. Here we see Audrey's hand begins raising on its own, and a knife stands on the table, after which her hand falls on the knife. And the scene gets cut here. Then Giles requests Audrey to go to the hospital, yet she inquires as to whether he at any point carried her to their home. She asks did he screw her on their bed? After this Audrey calls Claire and says that she really wants her assistance, as it has become extremely fierce at this point. She says that she was thinking that if she could see her, maybe she could also be able to communicate with her, to which Claire says that she couldn't say whether she can. Audrey requests her to try, because no one else can help her. Now Claire is resting in her home, when she awakens in the wake of hearing a kid's voice, and she sees Lucas sitting in front of her. Seeing him, she begins crying and says sorry to him. She says that she misses him a lot, 
Then she sees his face shrouded in blood, and unexpectedly she awakens and sees that there is nobody there. Then we see Claire and Peter eating together, where Peter attempts to persuade her that she ought to forget the past. Hearing this, Claire gets up and leaves from that point. However, Peter becomes furious and he pursues her, and asks her to talk to him. In any case, she says nothing. He inquires as to whether she needs a divorce, and does she even love him now? Now Claire cries that she killed their son. She says that this could not have possibly occurred if she had not taken those pills. Here Peter asks her for what reason does she take pills. After this, he says that when she is ready to tell him, he may not be here for it and he leaves from there. Then we see Claire at Sophie's home, where Giles is worried that Claire has never done this. And what if it doesn't work? He tells Audrey that when she can do this with your hand, he doesn't know what else she can do. Audrey advises him to let her attempt. Now Claire attempts to contact that soul, after which she gets up from the seat and starts glancing around. Then we see that she is going towards her room, where she sees a spinning wheel, behind which the same lady is sitting. She sees Claire and leaves the room. When Claire pursues her, she sees that she is sitting there, and there are cuts on her hands. Claire tells her that she needs to leave. She requests that she let Sophie be. Now the lady looks at Claire and stabs a stick in her head. The scene changes, and we see a man rather than Claire, who is being choked by the lady. Again the man is replaced by Claire. Yet, after some time the lady stops and leaves from there. Then we see Claire in the hospital, where Peter is sitting close to her. He inquires as to whether she wants anything, to which she says she is fine. Now Peter says that if she needs something, then he is outside, and after saying this he leaves from there. Then the patient on the bed close to her named Ada, tells her that her husband was watching her dozing throughout the night. She tells her that occasionally they simply need to quit pushing individuals out of their lives, to which Claire says that this is difficult. She tells her that it's not the weights we convey that make our life hard. It's the refusal to let any other person assist us with conveying them. She tells her that she accused herself when her husband ended his own life, and it took her a long time to realize it was not her fault. She says that she was afraid to accept her own life. After a while, we see that Claire is coming back from the bathroom to her room, when she sees an apparition in the passage. She quietly begins leaving from the opposite side and sees that now there is nobody there. However, unexpectedly that apparition shows up before her, seeing which she gets extremely frightened, and begins running from that point. She then comes to her room, where she sees Ada standing toward the side of the room. Ada tells her that her son was supposed to pick her up. Here Claire realizes that Ada is also a spirit. She advises her that she doesn't have to remain here any longer. She has a choice, to which Ada says yes, and we see that she vanishes from there. Then we see Claire lying in her home when she has a few visions, where she sees the same lady. Then abruptly the door of her room opens, and the lady runs into her room. Seeing this, Claire gets exceptionally terrified. She sees that the lady sits there and starts crying loudly. The next day we see Claire with Sophie, where Audrey comes up to her and says they will take Sophie, and the hearing is next week. She hands her a court notice, and asks if she can't tell them the truth. Now in the office, Claire learns that Lloyd has filed a case in court, which makes her very angry. Claire tries to convince him, but he fires her. Now we see Claire in a field, where she sees Lucas. He asks her where had she been. Here Claire apologizes to him, and says that now they need to quit being scared. After this, the two of them begin singing a melody, and we see that Lucas had vanished from that point. Claire then returns home and throws her pills. She takes out her sleeping pads from her closet and puts them on her bed. After this, she calls Peter and says that she needs to let him know everything and she wants to start over. Peter is exceptionally glad to hear this and starts crying in joy. Now somebody thumps on her door. Yet when she opens the door, there is nobody there, and we see that lady is coming extremely fast towards her from behind. However, when Claire turns back, there is nobody there, except for we see that lady standing behind her, and she puts her hands on her eyes which gives Claire a few visions, in which she sees a man is strangulating a kid, and the lady is attempting to save him, and during this she kills the man, and afterward we see that she is crying sitting close to the dead body of that youngster. Now she shows one more vision to Claire, in which Sophie was looking at the photographs, and the door of her room opens. It was really Audrey who starts attacking Sophie. Here that lady stops Audrey and secured Sophie in her wardrobe. Claire is very shocked to see this and she goes directly to Sophie's home, 
where she sees the same lady standing at the door. Sophie follows her upstairs, where we see Audrey and Giles getting into an argument. Claire strolls into their room where Audrey points a gun at her. Claire attempts to convince her, and here Giles discovers that Audrey was really the person who used to attack Sophie. Now here Audrey is attempting to shoot Sophie first and afterwards shoot herself. However, Claire attempts to stop her, in which Giles gets shot and he dies. Seeing this drives Audrey exceptionally mad and she attempts to kill Claire. Yet Claire attempts to save herself, and during this Audrey tumbles down from the stairs. Claire then checks Sophie and calls the police. Now Claire returns outside and sees Audrey isn't there. She begins leaving with Sophie. However, Audrey stabs her from behind. After this, she is going to kill her. However, Sophie attacks her. Claire advises Sophie to flee and asks the ghost lady for help. Now Audrey tries to kill her again. However, we see the lady stop her and break her hand. Next, she breaks her leg and afterward, turns her neck and kills her. Now we see the ghost of that woman who then leaves from that point. Next the police come there, and we see that it is Peter. They track down Sophie outside, and Peter finds Claire inside. Then we see both of them at Luca's grave, where Claire apologizes to him for pushing him away. She tells him all the truth and says that she was afraid, that he would not believe her words. At last, we see a couple who come to Claire to connect with their mother's soul, and now Claire is helping individuals, and the film closes here. Thanks for watching.